Hello and welcome to Peggy's Tropical Garden, coming to you from the Florida Keys. Today I'm sharing with you my last effort to save a very sick cactus. I don't even know if it's fair to call this thing sick. I rescued it from Lowe's. It was looking really bad. I've had it for like close to two years now and it's always just looked bad and it's gotten progressively worse. I've treated it with systemics. I've treated it with everything. I've done everything to try and save this cactus. At this point, it looks so bad that I'm scared to even put it near any of my other plants. So today I'm gonna do some cutting. I mean, look at this, it even has a hole in it. <laughs> I just don't know. I'm going to do some cutting today in a last attempt to save this cactus. What I'm thinking is I will go above the scabby looking parts and cut off the top and then try to root that. I also want to dissect this cactus to see what it looks like in the inside to try to give me some kind of indication of what's really going on. I mean, is it rotting? I, it has that hole, but it's been there forever. The skin on it, I mean, I figured it was scale or whatever. I've treated it for everything and it still just looks as bad. So. We will see. Here we go. Let's get started. This cactus has some really long, sharp spines, so I'm going to put on my thick leather um, work gloves to handle it. Now let me grab a scalpel. I'm ready for surgery. No, really, I'm going to use this knife here. <laughs> so now I want to take a look at this thing and see how high, where's the um, highest point of the disease looking part. Does that make sense? But anyway, I'm gonna go just above it to make, my, to make my cut. The goal is to have only healthy tissue on the part you cut off. I'm really kind of curious as to what this is going to look like. Okay, this is not what I expected. Look at that, it's all very healthy looking. I mean, there's no sign of rot or anything. So, okay, I'll take that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just purely out of curiosity. I wanna see what the inside of the rest of this plant looks like. I mean, I've been treating this thing for like two years now. No way, you're not going to believe. Look at this, look at this. It's totally healthy inside. Isn't this crazy? You see how bad this thing looks on the outside? and it has the nerve to look this good on the inside. See, now I almost feel guilty having cut it, but then again, I would never want it near any of my other plants because it just looks so bad. So this is the only thing I could do in order to know what's going on with this plant. And here's the other side, looking just as healthy as the part I removed. This is so crazy, I didn't expect that. And look, that's where the hole was. I mean, even there, so either my treatment was, you know, worked very well, or it just, I don't know, maybe it was, I don't know. I have no idea. In other words, this plant probably could have lived for however long. It would have not been the cutest plant, but it would have lived because it looks totally healthy, except for the outside, which is very gross looking. Anyway, I'm going to be throwing away all of this except the part that I cut off the top. Okay, here's the part that I removed from the top that we're going to be working with and trying to root. Cinnamon has antifungal and antiseptic um, properties. And that's why you see it used with plants a lot of times after cuttings have been taken. It's just household cinnamon. And I'm gonna take a little of it and sprinkle it in this small dish. I'm gonna spread it out. This is all you need, you don't need much. And now I'm gonna take the cut portion of the cactus and I'm just gonna place it lightly into the cinnamon to get it dispersed across the cut surface. I think the cinnamon also helps the cut portions of callus over faster. And now I'm just gonna spread it a little bit because um, some of it's not getting on there good. So I just wanna make sure that uh, there's a nice thin coat of cinnamon.
And I'm just gonna set it over out of the sun on my porch, just like this, and let it callous. I'm just gonna leave it overnight because I'm gonna have it on the porch and I know that there's no chance of it getting wet. Now, some people let theirs callous over for weeks, but it's really not necessary in my climate. So what I'm gonna do, you can see after just one day, it has shrunk away from the size. It's actually kind of, you know, it's not wet to the, to the touch or anything like that. And then I'm just gonna set it lightly on top of the soil. I'm not even gonna bury it. I'm just going to set it on top and it's gonna be in contact with the soil and I'm not going to water it. And I'm not gonna put it in the sun right now either. I'm gonna leave this on my patio on my potting bench just like this until I start seeing some signs of roots, which is probably gonna be a month or two. And that's all there is to it. That's the method that usually works for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and take time out to do something fabulous in your garden. Bye-bye.